Okay. I needed to make this clear because a lot of people are biased fucking assholes. When they say, well, Saitama had an infinite strength. That collision should have shattered the, destroyed the universe in one blow. And it's like, so y'all just going to completely ignore that Blast and his homeboy, homies forced that fucking energy into one direction. We're just going to ignore that they contained it and forced that shit into one fucking direction. And the destruction was still insane. The serious punch square, the impact from that created a shock wave, a huge shock wave, huge energy of destruction, whatever you want to call it, with the one collision of the fist. It wasn't multiple, just one collision of two serious punches colliding. And it and it would have destroyed so much more, but because of Blast and his friends. They contained it and sent it in one direction. But we get people saying, well, if he had, infi- well, if he had an infinite strength, then that would have destroyed the universe. While blatantly ignoring Blast and his homies were f- fucking there to fucking minimize the level of destruction. Right? Seriously. Seriously. Teleports them. They're in space. The gate can't handle this much energy. I can't give it enough distance. No matter what, I've got to somehow manage to at least alter the vector of the destructive energy away from the Earth. Don't underestimate Earth. To think another hero besides you could hold his own against one imbued with so much divine power. Just who is he? You guys will lend you a hand. That shit folded in on itself and fired in what they for they forced that bitch in one fucking direction, dog. And that greatly minimized destruction. It really fucking did. Whether this shit would have destroyed the universe or not, we are never fucking know. My guess is it would have, but this shit was minimized to one fucking direction because that shit was a fucking spear bro that shit was that that shit was a perfect spear and it was just about the you know spears and as they spread they literally just spread in all directions boom it just creates a huge void planets got annihilated stars got annihilated galaxies got annihilated And people, I, I'm really getting tired of people saying, here, well, if it was really universal, it, it would have, dog, this shit got greatly minimized. But yet, people never talk about this. It, it's all the, all the videos I've watched, nobody brings this up. How Blast and his homies minimized the widespread destruction this shit really would have fucking caused. Come on, you people can't be serious. You people don't pay attention to detail. Hell, y'all don't even acknowledge the fucking details. Y'all don't even acknowledge the details. And that's a huge problem in itself. And then y'all got the audacity to come in my comment section and try to argue some? Well, y'all don't even pay close attention to the actual details. Like, what are, we, what are you doing here? I'm not going to listen to people who don't pay attention to detail. Like, come on. You can literally see galaxies in the background here. So I don't want to hear people saying they didn't take out galaxies. Bro, when you zoom out, how you think that shit look? Another example. Empty fucking void. Look at this shit, bro. The galaxies are still in close proximity with the goddamn stars. I can't make this shit up. You you still got morons talking about some, well... Since the statement didn't say there was a, that there was literally the sound effect of an explosion and blast let you know this energy is about to destroy the earth. That was pure energy of destruction. And this head cannon of, oh, it only destroyed the lights surrounding the stars. Get that garbage out of there. Whoever started that head cannon needs to go to therapy. 
because ain't no fucking way. And then what's even more stupider is people, you you got a very small minority of people actually running with that. The majority of people don't believe that bullshit, but a very small minority is running with that. And even though it's a small minority of people, it's still annoying to know that people are actually running with that bullshit. But you can clearly see the stars in close proximity with the damn galaxies, bro. Look at the, man, come on, I can't make this shit up. People are sitting here trying to look at it as, oh, what they're in is in one big galaxy. But at the same time, they're ignoring all the galaxies that's far out, too. And this is what that shit looks like. Literally in close park, sitting to me with the stars. This is fiction at the end of the day, people. You got some fucking monster dude that has a portal to fucking space in his fucking mouth. This is fiction, man. Ain't nobody questioning this shit. Ain't nobody questioning this. But y'all sitting here questioning whether Saitama really has infinite strength, even though you literally get Garo saying that he's infinitely strong. My boy. Oh, it doesn't work like Infinity should. Bitch, it ain't even been... Infinity hasn't even been proven to actually exist in our own actual reality. Like, get the fuck up out of here. Talking about some infinity supposed to work like this. Infinity never grows. Bitch, ain't no actual proof for that. I'm tired of people running with that bullshit. When it's actually no proof for it. If y'all actually studied the topic of infinity and dove deep into the topic, you motherfuckers would know this. But y'all fucking don't. I'm talking about this motherfucker here. Y'all can read through this. I'm not going to waste my time. His argument hinged on, well, infinity doesn't need to grow. So I had enough at him, and I dropped some truth bombs on him. I told him infinity hasn't even been proven to actually work like that. In fact, infinity hasn't even been proven to actually fucking exists so there is literally no factual way of knowing whether infinity just is or is something that's just constantly fucking growing i can't stand when people sit here and try to use these ideas of infinity while not realizing there are different types of fucking infinities and using your limited ass garbage ass baser ass knowledge to discredit saitama having infinite strength Get the fuck up out of here. I was going to read through all these comments, but hell to the fuck no. Y'all can take y'all time reading through this. I did upload a video about him, but it, it wasn't this many comments at the time. And it's funny, the moment I started telling him that there's no proof on how Infinity actually works... All of a sudden, he want to stop responding. Try me. Y'all can pause the video and read through all this if y'all want. And this motherfucker telling me, oh, I don't listen to people. Bitch, because you're you're sitting here using a funk ton of head cannon and all that shit. And when I told him your argument is basically, well... Saitama Infinity doesn't operate the way I deem it fit, so therefore he doesn't actually have infinite strength. Bitch, this ain't your work of fiction. Sit the fuck down somewhere. Your argument is essentially a person who can't measure Saitama's power at all said he has infinite power. That dude was literally on an infinite horizon and he has way more knowledge than your punk ass. So he has infinite power despite he has shown limits for his strength. Ain't no fucking limits, nigga. Are you stupid? This is the head cannon shit I'm talking about. And this motherfucker had the audacity to sit here talking about some. If you want people to listen to you, to you, a start would be not to be right. Fuck, nigga, shut the fuck up and get your remedial ass out of my fucking comment, nigga. Get your ass out of my fucking comment section. 
You can't be nice to people like you because all you're just going to do is double down in your fucking head cannon. But when I tell your punk ass off, you get the message. Oh, I don't want to respond to this guy anymore. He's belittling me. You damn right because you fucking stupid. Up in here in my comment section trying to tell me how infinity fucking operates when I know getting well. That infinity hasn't even been factually fucking proven because I've done my fucking research, you fucking prick. The fuck? I have zero patience for morons like this. Don't come up in my comment section talking about some Saitama doesn't have infinite strength because it's supposed to work this way. Fuck nigga, it's fiction. The creator can have Saitama infinite strength any way he fucking wants to. Oh, if his strength is still growing, that means it's not infinite, nigga. It says it's infinite. So that's what the fuck it is. It, it's not your work of fiction. It don't abide by the way you want things to fucking work. It's fucking fiction. We take concepts from the real world and fiction either over-exaggerates it, sticks to it, or they do whatever the fuck they want with it, bro. Infinity, the concept of infinity is no fucking different. Oh, this way makes more sense. Bitch, if a character with all the knowledge of all the energy in the universe and all the understanding of all the knowledge of all different energies in the universe and all the understanding of how the forces operate and who's able to literally copy all his opponent's moves and literally copy his opponent's stats is telling you that something's how much strength he's infinitely strong bitch then that's what the fuck it is human turn monster turn monster turn into cosmic entity it's telling you what the fuck it is and here come your monkey ass time out song well you need to listen to me and speak nicer to us and maybe we'll listen and 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 then when i ask him are you magically going to change your mind if i talk to you nicely and tell you hey you're contradicting the factual information no, it won't massively change my opinion, but I'm more likely to actually listen to what you said. No, the fuck you're not. You're just doubling down on your ignorance, bitch. And, and this whole comment thread proved that. This entire comment thread proved it. The fuck out my comment section.